So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how exactly you do an advanced speed ramp, aka a quick whip pan effect to increase your video transitions and abilities and how you can make your videos flow a lot more smoother. And as you can see, having a, just a typical whip pan, it is pretty simple. If you haven't watched my first two videos, it is essentially the advanced whip pan is is a combination of uh, in-camera whip as well as a speed ramp and that's all it is. So if you don't know what exactly those two transitions are, I suggest you watch those videos that I made in the description below. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you the advanced whip pan transition. And all you essentially need to do is combine those two effects. So to understand the advanced speed ramp slash whip pan, as you can see, you need to understand how to speed ramp. Essentially taking a clip, its motion, and then slowing it down. And if you don't know how to do that yet, really quick, right click, time mapping, click speed, and then you wanna drag this, this portion right here all the way down to 100 to make the clip slower. If you wanna speed it up, as you can see what I did here, you can wanna drag it up all the way to a thousand because I usually do a thousand because it's the fastest that it can go. And you can toggle where, whether or not how smooth you want these speed ramps to be. See fast, then slow. Now that is a really quick run through of how you do a speed ramp. Now you mix it in with a in camera body transition. So essentially what that is, is you whip the camera on your very last frame. So you get the frame that you wanted here, for example, Let's say you wanted that frame of your model or talent. And then at the very last second, you whip the camera. Whip it. Whip it. So right when you hit that whip, you want to pretty much cut it before it's able to be unblurred or motion blur. And then the second clip you want to film, you want to be able to have that to start with the whip. So remember, you ended with the whip to the top right corner. So then the next clip that you film, you want it to whip up from the bottom left corner. So I would cut it there. So you go back to the first clip and then you want to see where it whips or where you want it to blur. And this is just not from no effects. This is just from camera in body motion blur. Right click, time map, click speed, control, click where you want that speed ramp to occur drag it all the way up to a thousand and this is where i watched a little other tutorials and i didn't understand how they got that such of a smooth whip pan effect and it is how you do it is you want to drag this little these little sliders out if i can here and then you want that portion of where it speeds up to a thousand you want it to be touching the where, wherever the very end of the clip is. See, see how it plateaus right here at a thousand? You don't want that. You want that to pretty much pan. I, like it's, you want to have the line from here to here. You don't want it to plateau. So it will look like something like this. Actually, I want that to be a little bit further. It's always good to fine tune it. So you can click in the middle and drag exactly where you want that speed ramp to occur. And then I would drag the little tail end here to make sure that it speeds into it without actually plateauing. If you want the very end of your clip to be in a upward position instead of a plateau. That's pretty good. Then what I would want is I want the second clip, which flips or whips back into the frame from going into the top right here. I would cut that, right click, show keyframe, speed, and where the shot I would want it, I would want it somewhere, let's say here. Control, drag this up. So you would start with the speed here, all the way up to a thousand. And then just like the other thing, you don't want it to the, the line here. So you click this tail here, and you kind of drag it out. Then you drag this clip. So then as you can see, 
that plateau line disappears. And let's see how that looks. So now the things with whip pans is you want this little mountain or peak here. So that's what you're looking for to have a motion blur advanced whip pan. Now we're gonna play that together. Whip. It can look a lot more cooler depending on the shots, and but this is the essentials of how you get those really cool travel videos or vlogs where people just suddenly go from one transition to another seamlessly. That is how they do it. It, it is essentially an in-camera whip combined with an advanced speed ramp. Let's do another one just so to make sure that you guys actually get it. And I'm gonna choose a clip that's much more I would say defined so you can actually see how the speed ramp will look and with the whip pan effect. So I have this clip here, but the cool thing about it is I actually turn it. So I would want to start, let's say I wanted this frame here, press I, and then right when I turn, when it gets blurry, that would where I would, I would want my out, out point. Then I would go to my next clip and I would actually film that clip upside down and then right when I turn, that is where I want the out point to be in frame. Click O. So now I have this frame and I'm gonna be turning to the right. So now that I turn to the right, the other clip needs to turn to the left. See these two clips? Okay. Now make sure I right click, show keyframes, speed. So let's say right when it turns right here, drag that up to a thousand. So essentially what you're doing is you're speeding up when you turn. So there's comes more of a motion blur or it tricks the eye to be like it looks like one fluid motion but in reality it's not zoom in a bit so you can see the clips and then you want to drag it so then it's kind of like a mountain you don't you want to get away from this plateau you kind of do it like that zoom out and see how that looks little choppy could be a little better or this clip could be a little longer so maybe here, drag that clip in, pull this a little bit so there's less of a plateau there. Let's see how that looks. That's a little better. Probably want this a little shorter. There you go. And the clips don't necessarily even have to be in the fl motion that it flows in. For example, if you whip the camera right, you have to start with the whip right. But what you can also do is you can also zoom in and out. So let's say, for example, let's use this clip here. It's just a simple whip to the left. So same thing. Look for the motion blur. Right click, show clip keyframes. Control click. And then this clip, I actually zoom in to a zoom out whip or a speed ramp. So I look for when it gets really dark there. Cut that. And where would I want the clip to stable was probably right here. So right click, show clip frame, speed, click. It's all about testing and trying out new things. And now you know how you do an advanced whip pan or advanced speed ramp to have better transitions and flow for your videos, whether that's YouTube, whether that's a short film, it's a good way to have a constant flow and keep your audience engaged for your videos. And now you add like a music track on top of this, you can time it with the beat, you can add a sound effect and that is how you do an advanced whip pan. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.